Ukraine's president is replacing his defense minister. It's a major shakeup in the middle of a war. Alexei Reznikov submitted his resignation letter this morning and praised Ukraine's resistance against the Russians. The move comes amid Vol Volodymyr Zelensky's effort to end corruption in his government, though Reznikov is not suspected. MTS Tayeb is in Kyiv. MTS, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, Alexei Reznikov will really be remembered for convincing his counterparts around the world that the impossible was possible, that by arming Ukraine, it could push back powerful Russia. But as the summer offensive grinds on with limited gains, President Zelensky said it was time for a, quote, different approach to the war. Ukraine's early morning assault on Russia's defensive lines near Bakhmut is intense. The running gun battles come months after Moscow-backed mercenaries seize control of the strategic eastern city, which has seen some of the war's most brutal fighting. But as Ukraine's counteroffensive grinds into a stalemate on multiple fronts, the removal of Reznikov comes as the military starts to make important gains in the south. According to U.S. officials, there's been, quote, notable progress near the southern city of Zaporizhia over the past 72 hours. But the Kremlin isn't backing down. This morning, it launched a three and a half hour assault on the Danube River port of Izmir. According to the Ukrainian military, its air defense system shot down at least 17 of the Russian drones, but some hit their targets and damaged buildings. Away from the front lines and deep underground, it's back to school for these kids. Officials in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, have set up dozens of improvised classrooms for around a thousand students in a local subway station. We're trying to do everything possible for our children not to feel this war, the school's director, Ludmila Yusichenko, says. We're trying to create a safe environment for them. Now, it's not only a different approach that's being taken militarily, but also when it comes to educating children and nearly all other aspects of life across Ukraine. But this new normal, as you can see, is anything but, as this brutal war drags on into its 18th month. Errol. All right, our MTS Sayab in Ukraine. Thanks for that.